camera ready for that action. Lights camera ready for that action. Tags snatching. Designer on designer, it's a habit. Cause baby, it's a look. It's a look. It's a look. It's a look. Don't you see me? Cause baby, it's a look. Hey Coco Puffs, thanks for tuning back in and if you're not already a Coco Puff, what are you doing? Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can be a part of the Coco Puff game and hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever I post videos. Yes, yeah, so today I am, I did a makeup look. I know it's been a long time since I've done a makeup look with eyeshadow and this is it and I hope you guys do enjoy it. Isn't it beautiful? Spring is here. You guys can rock this. Mm. So yeah, so this is the tutorial and I hope you guys enjoy. Alright guys, hey, so I went on and did my eyebrows as you guys can see. And don't worry about this pimple, I want to get rid of it. Yeah, so I went on and did my right eyes. And I'm going to show you guys how I did this AI look on my left side. Yep, and now I'm going to take my NW40 MAC Concealer, Studio Finish Concealer, and apply it all over the lid. <clears throat> oh this is just a base so it can help with the colors so it could show and i'm going to take my sasha buttercup setting powder and apply it all over that concealer just so it doesn't move i'm going to take some tape just so it can keep the makeup clean and sharp and i'm going to take this purple eyeshadow and apply it as my transition color i'm going to apply it above my lids And blend 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 and I'm gonna take my Sephora palette and take this darker purple and apply it on top of that transition color so you guys can follow through with different colors you guys don't have to use the same colors that I use you guys can use pink blue any color just make sure that you guys use a lighter color as a transition color darker and so on so I'm gonna take my matte concealer again and create a cut crease with that I'm going to use it and create a cut crease. It's been a while since I did a talk over, guys. I know. All right, now I'm taking this glittery purple, which is a little bit darker than the one I used on top of that transition color. I'm going to use that on my lid. It was kind of hard working with this purple because I had to like apply it a couple of times so it could show. And put it on the lid. And I'm going to take this nice rose gold. It looks so pretty. I love this color. It's from the MAC palette. It's a small MAC palette. It's a small palette that I got from MAC. I'm going to apply it just in the center of my eyelid just to give the eyeshadow some oomph. I'm taking this dark brown and just so we can have a transition I'm gonna just apply it right on that cut crease and I'm taking my blending brush and blending that all in blend 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 and I'm gonna take my NYC eyeliner this is like the best cheapest eyeliner ever and I'm gonna create a wing liner the tape really helps when doing a wing liner guys And the look is complete. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm gonna take the tapes off. Mm, yep, goodbye. All right, yeah. <laughs> and I'm gonna take some wipes just to remove all the eyeshadow or glitter that fell on my face just before I apply my foundation. So from here guys, I will let you guys watch this because I've done this a couple of times and I just don't want to repeat myself. My face routine is like 
the same thing all the time. I haven't used any different products yet. But when I do, I will make some videos on that, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you're not already a Cocoa Puff, I don't know what you're doing. You better hit that subscribe button. And also hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever I post videos. All right. All right, guys. I will see you guys in my next one. Love you. Bye.